Alexa, turn on tube light. Okay. Alexa, turn off tube light. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to Jovitech. In this video, I will share a cool project using Alexa. So if you own an Alexa, this would be very helpful as it allows to control any appliance with the power of your voice. The beauty of this project is that this doesn't require any third party applications uh, to control your devices and it's designed in such a way that it works similar or even better than the ready-made products available in the market. So let's get started. So for supplies you need the following. You need a Node MCU module having the ESP8266 board. We need a 5 volts relay. Then we need a BC547 transistor, a diode, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 5 volts AC to DC power supply module, uh, some 2 pin and 3 pin screw connectors and a puff board. So for the electronics, the heart and the brain of the electronics consist of a Node MCU module which does all the processing and controls the devices. The relay is controlled using a transistor via the D5 pin of the Node MCU. However, if you want to control more than one device, simply attach them to either the D1, D2, D5, D6 or D7 pin. We add the diode because to prevent the back EMF and protect the transistor. To power the circuit, we use an AC to DC power supply module that provides 5 volts using the AC input. The circuit can be easily assembled using a prototyping PCB. So for the software, it's designed in such a way with the following features. Firstly, it's Alexa control obviously. Uh, secondly, it provides for OTA updates which allows to easily update the firmware. Uh, it uses Wi-Fi manager and uses improv to store the state of the device uh, especially useful during power cuts uh, for the setup firstly you need to install arduino ide then you need to set up and install esp8266 boards uh, and then you need to install the following libraries links are in the description below installing the libraries in arduino is very easy just follow the steps download the zip file from the library github page in, the, in Arduino, go to Sketch, Include Library, and then click on Add Zip Library. For the configuration, simply open the Sketch uh, and modify the device list uh, if you want to add or remove devices. You need to change the following parameters. So each device has the following parameters. Firstly, we have the name. The name is used to identify the device uh, using Alexa. Uh, the pin um, refers to the pin of the node MCU module and the toggle default is set to false is used to change the output behavior. I then designed and 3D printed a case which is uploaded to Thingiverse. This was printed using a blue PLA plus filament at 15% infill. Connect the input and output as shown. The AC input powers the device as well as the electronics and the output has three pins which corresponds to the normally open and the normally closed pin of the relay. The output depends on the toggle parameter which was earlier set in the software. So if you left the default as false then just connect the output to the first two pins. Setting up is really easy. Just power on the device. For the initial setup, uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot would be created. You just need to connect to it and you will be redirected to a page. Then you simply need to click on configure Wi-Fi. You select the Wi-Fi access point and enter your credentials. Uh, then ask Alexa to discover devices or you can do it manually using the Alexa app. Make sure that your devices are connected and once that's done, try to control the device using the Alexa app. Finally, let's look at one demo. Alexa, turn on tube light. Okay. Alexa, turn off tube light. Okay. I used the smart device to control the tube light of my room and I also created automated routines that turn on the light every morning which helps me wake up properly. Thank you, subscribe and like, share.